yes, yes, yes. Good evening, good evening, good evening, my dear buddy. Hello, sir. Yeah, good evening, sir. Pastor, good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. How do you do? Can you hear me? I can hear you very well, sir. Loud and clear. Okay, okay, good. Did you have a great day, sir? What did you say? Did you have a great day? Did you have a great day today, sir? Um, please one minute. Did you have a great day today, sir? Okay. Can, can I can hear you. Hear you now? I can hear you. Okay. I can hear you. Okay. Bring it for me. Sorry, just a moment, please. Okay. Bring it. Okay, no problem. Yes, sir. Okay, I see many people are already joining. I celebrate you all for coming online today. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. It's going to be very, a very powerful time, and um, I trust that the Holy Spirit is going to really help us today. So very quickly, I would um, give maybe one more minute for our friends who are trying to join online. Let me see if uh, I could... Um, Okay. Okay, so Instagram is notifying. Okay, your your friends are greeting you, Pastor. Your friends are saying hello to you. Okay. All right. So Pastor, are we are we are we good to go? We yeah, we're good to go. To go. Can, can you hear me clearly? Once you can hear me, we're good to go. I can hear you, sir. I can hear you. Oh, great. I can hear you, sir. Very well. Very well. Okay, thank you very much, Pastor. Uh, I know that you are a busy man, and this is a great privilege and a rare one for me, and I don't take it for granted at all, at all. And so today I want to do three things basically. Number one, to appreciate you for your consistency in the work of the ministry, your labor of love. I see your posts. You know that I'm one of your followers on WhatsApp. I check it almost every day when I'm online. And I see that you, you have this passion and love for the body of Christ. I see you have, uh, God has given you a, a large heart to be able to not just stay in a stream of ministry, but to be able to be diverse and receive what they have to offer with respect to edifying the saints. And I really commend you for this, Pastor. And by the grace of God, I trust that this will be a blessing to all who are following. So please, sir, I want to ask, uh, can you share with us your history with respect to the media? I saw some things on Facebook yesterday, and I was like, wow, 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 I'm spirit-led. So please, sir, share with us. Um, how did it begin for you with respect to the media? What Was it that somebody told you or taught you about the power of the media or an angel appeared to you? Or how did it begin for you with respect to the media, sir? Um, you know, um, I want to appreciate you for this opportunity. Um, I've, I've always seen you as one that uh, has passion for God. And um, ask question for the development of people. Glory to God. I'm really excited about that. Um, so media for me started. Um, if I had known, if I had had um, somebody to coordinate or to guide me, um, yes, I might have been better than me. Because media for wow. me started far back as GSS two. Wow. Um, so media started for me as um, GSS two. I would um, get money. And I discovered I was buying two things consistently. I was buying mm. transistor radio. And I was transistor buying... Transistor radio. Wow. Yes, I was always buying 
I'll buy a transistor radio, I'll sell, I'll buy another better one, and I was buying um, a camera. I was buying cameras, you know, different kinds of film cameras I was using as far back wow. as GSS2. But you know, wow. were, you, were you an engineering student, sir? Were you an engineering no, no, no. student? I was in secondary school, GSS2. Wow. Wow. You know, but I was I was I was very intelligent, I was top of my class. You know, and people told me that I could go to science class, but I thought I was playful. I was, I'm a little bit playful. So I decided to go to commercial class because my mom was selling um, drinks and all that. And people would say, ah, oh, my work are gone. Your son can count wow. money, so he should be an accountant. So wow. I opted for a commercial class. And um, okay. I was also top of my class. And somewhere, somehow, I was lost in, you know, wanting to do accounting, I uh, wanted okay. to lecture and all that and all that. But when I got into the university, I, let, let me say this, I stayed um, seven years after secondary school before I got into the university. Seven you years? Know, perhaps, yeah, seven years. It was seven years. Perhaps God was trying to tune my eyes to what I mm. love, but I didn't notice. I didn't notice. Mm. So when I finally got my admission into school, uh, I found out that um, campuses, they were, they had these messages. The messages were very, very good, very or uh, very godly, you know. And there was no way people could capture those messages, you know. Mm. But prior to that time, in, in in church in Lagos, you know, I found a way because I was used to radio. I found a way to record messages in Lagos. Wow! You know, I was so good at recording messages. I would just record messages give it to friends to go and listen to myself I listen to it, call people together and let us listen to this message. You mm. know, I kept on doing that. I you know I, I began to also love um, uh, web design and all that. And, you know, a lot of things about it. started when I got into Amazing. Class. You know, I found out that my fellowship, you know, the pastor then was, you know, very articulate, very eloquent, very spiritual and all that. And somewhere, somehow, my mom bought me a laptop. Wow. They bought me a laptop, and I felt like if they could use computers to record songs, mm. then I can use this laptop to record messages. Messages, true. And that's, that's how I started recording messages in mm. church, you know. And um, finally, my mother got me a camcorder also, and that camcorder revolutionized the... Um, um, a kitty state. I started doing a lot of things with that camera, you know, to the point that there, there's a group called Sight. Um, Pastor Tolu, so good to see you join. Sight. Pastor Tolu, join, join, join. Um, there's a group called Sight that okay. I, um, you know, I worked for students in free enterprise. You know, I did yeah. a lot of their, their, their videos. And in fact, they won, they won a competition with some of my, uh, my videos and all that. You can't I was always doing, um, um, I was always capturing their, you know, their, yeah. uh, what's it called, um, their events. I don't want to call it events, but yes. programs and all that. I was yeah. capturing, I was also showing it live. You know, before the advent of live feed and all that, I had been that as far back as, you know, 2010, 2011. Wow. You know, did you, Pastor, uh, sorry, sir. Did you, did you see this as, a calling back then was it a calling for you? Was it a ministry? No. Was it a mission? What was it for you then? You know, that's why I, I would. That's why I'm happy we are doing this because Thank some you, people find this passion. Some people have this passion, but they don't know that it's a calling. I mm. didn't know it was a calling. Mm. I didn't. I just thought like, okay, um, it's just one of those things you do to help people. It's just one of those things I want to serve. Anywhere I go to, if you take me to Kavansha today, all I need is to see a church. I just wow. want to serve. If I don't wow. play keyboard, I'll play drums. If I can't play drums, I'll play bass. If I can't play bass, I, would, I just want to do something to enhance wow. the service. And so, you know, when I saw somebody trying to use... Um, uh, I, let, I, I, I found out that I could use PowerPoint. And I found out that yeah. PowerPoint could be used in church. So I started using PowerPoint to project messages, to project Bible, and somebody just introduced easy worship to me. 
All these things, nobody taught me. Wow. That's the amazing part. All these things, nobody taught I just sat down. I just say, God, I want to start doing this thing. And I start to mm. do it. And I do for them. Easy worship. I started training a lot of people to do easy worship. I could mm. say, and I, I don't know anybody could argue, but I'm not sure anybody can argue that I was the first person to run easy worship in it. Wow. Wow. That's yeah. awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Wow. So, 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 so what I'm thinking... I didn't know that God had just blessed me with something that can be mm. useful for the body. But I just had this, you know, I don't charge, I don't ch charge too much. You know, I just mm. feel that, okay, this thing is just help ministry for me. Wow. Wow. So, so, so your passion, thank you very much sir, for that. So your passion can be a ministry. Yeah. Or it can yes, be sir. a pointer to something great that God has in store that you might not have even been able to identify yet. But if you yes, stay sir. with it, but if you stay with it and add value to other lives through it and continue, then the, the, the greatness of that little thing now begins to find expression. Pastor, exactly. maybe I can share mine because you, you are the one that is on today, and um, I'm, I'm, I want to make sure that I give you enough time. Now, very quickly, when I was uh, in my uh, 300 level, Something happened. This I was I was first a drama team member in um, campus fellowship, Mountain of Fire. Then assistant Bible study secretary. Then Bible study secretary. So when I was Bible study secretary, the Spirit of the Lord began to speak to me. He said, "Begin to record your teachings." How our wow. media ministry began is what I'm saying now, Pastor. I wow. began by recording the teachings, you know, just here and there, and I was not looking for anything. I wasn't. Wow. I, began, I only knew two people in ministry. Who were recording their teachings? I was not so exposed to ministers around that record teachings. I knew uh, uh, Reverend Chris Oyakilome. I, I used to see that you know he was preaching around. Then I knew, all right, uh, Pastor Iya Diboye, Bishop Oyedepai. I just knew that they were ministers. So I thought there had to be a license and some fee that you had to pay for your teaching to be recorded. And so I remember, Pastor, that back then when I record my teachings and then I played it again. I began to hear myself say things like amen, 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 like hundred times in one teacher. I said, What is this? Can you keep quiet with this amen and, and teach the word? So I noticed, sir, that just from what you have said, when the Spirit of God gives you an instruction, as you obey faithfully, not looking for any selfish ambition, the vision begins to become clearer to you. Number two, from what you said, there is always a track record that builds into something greater. So nobody jumps up actually in the kingdom. We grow up into right. these things. And, right. and so, so you are the one that began to operate easy worship in Ipsu. And that is powerful. Because I did, didn't see it around, even at, as at the time I was in school, you left, you know, before us. I, right. I didn't see many things that had to do with the media. And so when I recorded the teachings, I would keep them. I would just listen to them, adjust myself, and then continue. But I began to okay. find out that... Let's, let's, so yes. um, yes, sir. I'm sorry right. to cut you short. Um, yes, sir. You know, one, one of those things that happened on campus, okay. um, if you, I, I, can, I can give you uh, like um, three DVDs. Three wow. DVDs of pizza messages. Wow. Three DVDs, oh, I, can, I, I can give you three DVDs of pizza messages. You wow. know, one of the things that helped us to, let me use the language of the world, you know, but, you know, it's not, it's not, um, one of the things that prospered, okay, let, I, I found the word now. One of the things that prospered the work of God, you know, in our days was the fact that we recorded those messages. Mm. For example, you would mm. have a classic message like she's not a prostitute. Mm. You would have a classic, you know, you would have a classic message like, um, you know, uh, God's on our side. Wow. You know, many classic messages. Both, both Wednesday Bible study and, um, and um, in fact, I was a Bible study caller at some point, but people did not know because I was always with the technical. Wow. I wow. was always with the technical. So, you know, we, RCF began to also record at some point, you know, okay. I, they came and they sent, you know, one or two persons, you know, and they started also recording. And 
You know, those things helped us to capture moments that we felt like, you know, before time, they were just going away like that. They would just come and go, and people could not capture mm. or recapture the moments. And those were the things we did, and God helped us to do them well. This is powerful. This is powerful. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Welcome, everybody. I see you. Uh, my wife is online, DVS. Uh, I think that's Pastor God bless you, sir. Aguile Shemaya is my friend from primary school. That's my primary school classmate. We very well at uh, Pastor Shola Okudu Guys Church, uh, the new, I mean, awesome friends online. God bless you all. I see you all, Olu Epopola. My elder brother is here from South Africa, bro, Daniel. Everyone will celebrate and welcome you. So, Pastor, I have a few questions. We will make it uh, brief and very powerful. And then, you know, we have another session. So, we'll make it brief and very powerful. Uh, you know, when we talk about Christians and the media, Pastor, I found out that um, creation itself is a product of the media. Yes, because sir. God spoke the earth into being. Right? Because, so there was an utterance from the Father that caused creation to be. So, although creation was in the thought of the Father, until he spoke it, he didn't find expression. And we know that there are different kinds of media. We have the mass media, the social media, print media, electronic media, all kinds of all right, outlets to convey the thoughts of our hearts to other people. Now, Pastor, I also found out that the fall is also a product of the media because the serpent that was more subtle than all the creation of God began to paint ideas, thoughts, and yeah. then when he received it and Adam also joined, the fall came to find expression because of a perverted media. So media sometimes is not really the problem, but the content that is being, all right, churned out. Okay, you, you are right. going to, you know, I don't want to give a little background for those that are just joining us. Also, I found out that uh, the Torah of Babel, Genesis 11, right, when God said that these guys are going to accomplish what is in their heart, especially because they have imagined to do it and they have already done it. So we see that even in spiritual warfare, the media plays a major role. Why? Because the imaginations of the heart of a man have also a bearing in the realm of the spirit. That was why David said, let the thoughts of my heart and the meditations of my, uh, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart. And we know that uh, we have eye gates, we have body gates. Our eyes and our ears are the windows to our soul. And so what we see, what we hear, what we present, what we project, what we post, all these things have a way of affecting our lives and the lives of those that we are sent to. And so looking at Christians and the media, there is a lot, all right, I know it's a very broad thing, but um, we would use our questions and answers. And if people have questions as we go on, please make sure you share your questions. Uh, Pastor will be willing, all right, to share with you. He's a photographer, by the way. He's a photographer, Christian photographer, very excellent in his job. I don't know why I didn't ask you to come and take us in a wedding. I guess I didn't have money. <laughs> but he's an excellent photographer. And I know that in photography, there are twists, there are turns, there are temptations, there are pitfalls, there are all kinds of things that can allow you to compromise. We're also going to look at that. Jesus said in the New Testament, be careful what you hear. That's the exactly. And how you that. hear it. So there is yeah. the what, and then there is the how. There is the content, and then there is the vehicle that pushes the content. So music is not bad, but the lyrics is what we now need to x-ray. Videos are not bad, but the message behind it is what we will x-ray. Nebuchadnezzar built an image, all right? And then the Bible says, when you hear the sound of the psaltery, the dulcimer, all right, you come to worship. So music is a call to worship. Videos are calls to worship. Everything that has to do with media actually brings you to allegiance, either to the spirit of God or to another spirit. But it's a battle of allegiance. And so on that basis, I welcome you all, and I will begin to ask pastor questions, and please be here, all right, to follow us. Thank you very much, sir. We begin now. Sir, first question here. How do you maintain purity as a Christian photographer in these days? Thank you for that question. How do you maintain purity? It's yes, sir. How, one, of the, one of the types of photography, okay. I know there are many types of photography. You have about oh. 22, I know, 22 types. And um, one of those types is called node photography. 
What did you call it, sir? Nude, nude. Nude, okay. Yeah. So one of those times, mm. you know, so, so, what helps you to maintain purity in photography has to do with what you're looking for in photography. Mm. It mm. has to do with your, your desire, what you want to be, what mm. you want to achieve with it, what you want to do with it. For, for example, for me, what I want to what I want to achieve with photography is the same passion that has driven me from or that has been driving me from university days. I want to help people. And so wow. you find it you find out that I'm more in tune with um, events, I'm more in tune with mm. church, I'm more in tune mm. with programs, I'm more in tune with you know things that has to do with events. Mm, I started studio photography because of COVID. I'm not a wow. studio photographer. But because of COVID, I felt like, okay, I have boys that I train. Let me, I have an office. I have a very big office. So let me just tidy up a little place and let them be busy, not even for mm. me. And so, mm. you know, I started doing that. But how do you maintain that purity? It has to do with your resolve to know that there are things you cannot do. Mm. There are things that mm -hmm. God has not given you the permission to do as a photographer. A friend of mine asked me, I want to shoot for him on his uh, a day to his birthday, and he asked me a question. He said, if you are to be given $20,000, would you shoot no? Mm. $20,000 is something, though. <laughs> it's something, it's big, it's big money. He said, would yeah. you shoot no? It is. And I... A guy joined me for the first time that day, and I took him to that shoot. And the guy looked at me and said, wow, oh boy, now money. And I told him point blank, I said, I won't. Mm. He said, for that money, I said, it's not because of that money. There are certain things my name will not be associated with. Wow, that's powerful. There are certain things your name should not be associated with. My name, mm. you know, I'm not moved when people make a lot of money from shooting a mm. type of picture. I'm not. Mm. I, I, have, I have an outlook. I have something that God has told me about that, you know, yes, okay, this is why I'm sending to this field and this is what I want to achieve with it. And so that mm. keeps me pure. That it says he that has this hope maintains a type of purity, purifies mm. himself. And so Nothing. you cannot see me. For example, I tell I I, I used to play instruments. Okay. I tell the instrumentalist. I told them many years ago that I'm not an instrumentalist. But they said, Ah, but you play instrument. I said, No, I'm not. They said, wow. Why? I said, For you to be an instrumentalist, you need inspiration. So where mm. do I get my inspiration from? Do I start listening to Kenny G? Do I start listening to uh, some of these worldly guys to get inspiration? I can't. Mm. I must mm. stay in the spirit. And so when mm. I know that I'm not just an instrumentalist, I'm a minister, then I will wow. wait on the one that sent me. So my shots are not determined by what one uh, powerful photographer does. My shots are inspired by what God is saying to me. He says, look wow. at this girl. Look at the way she looks. Can you sit her from this direction? Can you tell her to do this? Can you tell her to do that? And so my shots, I don't want to make all the money. I want to mm. make God. Wow. I don't want to make all the money. So the one that sent me determines what I do, and that helps me to maintain purity. Mm. There, are, there are a lot of guys that have come under my tutelage, my training, and mm. from the first day, they define, they define, I define for them, and they also define the kind of person I am. And they know right. that these are the things I will not do. Not for the so that. That's powerful, sir. So that, that's a matter of identity. Irrespective. Knowing who you are. Mm, it doesn't matter knowing what your profession you is. Your identity must be clear. So there is no yeah. compromising of your convictions, whether you're a photographer or you're a movie actor or you're a script writer or you're an editor. Can, can, can I say this, sir? Yes, sir, please. As a young guy who wants to be... You know, to be, to be called a creative, they call us creatives. To be yes. called a creative, you need to appear in a certain way. One of those mm. ways is that you begin to plate your air. You okay. Your air, 
you do certain styles, you wear certain clothes. But my brother, my sister, that does not guarantee excellence. Wow. That does not. I'm wow. very serious. But you see, I've seen many people who do those things, yet they are not as blessed as I am. And I'm not lying. Wow. wow. So, so sorry, sir. Sorry, sorry, sir. This is this is a very powerful point here. Are we saying that um, we we okay? We are saying that packaging is not wrong, but trying to be worldly so that you can be accepted by all and sundry is not what will bring the blessing upon your labor. It, it, so, yes, sir. It's like it's like the analogy you painted earlier of okay. Nebuchadnezzar building yes. an image. Image. And then mm. everybody come and come and bow to this image. If you don't bow to this image, so 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 things will happen to you. So in this our modern context, it is like if you don't look like this, you are not mm. acceptable as a creative. Wow. So so for for someone like me, if I for example, if I go to uh, maybe an event, I, I was I went to an event to shoot. Um, okay. And these other guys came all packaged, you know, looking so creative, as it were. They brought <laughs> all manners of gadgets, you know, their heads tied, some of them with all manners of beards and all that. And the guy that went with me began to say, Pastor Ayo. That's another identity I kept for myself. If wow. I go anywhere till today, I am Pastor Ayo. Wow. Even while you are shooting, you are Pastor right. I am Pastor it's uh, wow. all my ask ask evil rex that came to learn anywhere wow. you, anywhere i go no matter who i'm shooting the name mm. you call me is pastor mm. it protects me from unnecessary temptation it wow. protects me from unnecessary you know i play a lot i talk a lot but the fact that you call me pastor people begin to ask is he a pastor is he truly mm. a pastor so they begin to watch mm. themselves so it puts so you in the category of already by that. Sir? That Sir? word pastor will put you in the category already. So there are certain things that yes. will not be presented to you just by that. No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. 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 This is powerful. Give me a shoe. This, this you is know, powerful. When, when we are in the business place, many of us hide our identity. We take up the form of a chameleon. Mm. When we go to business, Take up the form of Camilla. Let's blend to what is happening now. Wow. You know, let's do what is happening now so that, you know, we can get what we want. And when we go, go to where, um, you know, where they know us, where we are pastors, where we are ministers, then we can take mm. up another form again. No. And my identity <laughs> everywhere is the same. Wow. I am the wow. same. Uh, you know, I know that is uh, the idea, that, that is the uh, definition of God. The same yesterday, today, and forever. I am yes. also like God. Wow. I don't change by uh, places or location. I don't change. I am the problem. same pastor I am mm. in the closet. I am the same pastor I am in the When you call me to come and shoot in a club, and I mistakenly come to that club, there are things you cannot offer me because there is a definition that is put upon me. You wow. have invited me or want to call me Pastor I Wow. 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 Yes. This is powerful. Mm. Yeah. Because mm. once we begin to compromise, the devil always finds a spot to keep pushing things at us. Wow. Once we begin to compromise, the devil always we'll finds spot. Find yeah. Push things at us. So some from the beginning, when it comes to media, are already trapped if they don't define their identity from the onset. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then look at Daniel and his friends. From the onset, Daniel 1.8, we will not defile ourselves with a portion of the king's meat. Yes, from sir. the onset. So the, the, the eunuch already knew. Yes, sir. So there is, no, no, there is no middle line. No, 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 no. This is powerful. So, so your identity so, as a Christian in the workplace, in the media, in any sphere, must be clearly defined. Clearly stated. 
I wow. see. I, I was. I was before I got into school. I was working somewhere in an Indian company. Immediately okay. I got to that point, I found out that there are Christians there. Mm. So one of the things I did was that every Wednesday they had they had that fellowship before, but it wasn't working. So okay. what I did was that Wednesday fellowship. All of us as Christians must go. Wow. Wow. So there are things. There are things you cannot bring to me because I am your pastor. Mm. <laughs> Not just, not just outside, but inside the office, I am mm. your pastor. So, there mm. are certain things you cannot say, ah, hey, why don't you say anyway? Let us do that. No, you can't do that to me. Mm. Because you know that I am your pastor. So, when people are sick, they are looking for who to bring the person to. It is me. <laughs> when people have problems, they are looking for who. When they want to sack somebody, they mm. looking for somebody to pray with him. It is me. Wow. I was the find who I am from the beginning. From the beginning. And that beginning. takes me to the end. In fact, many times you want to stray, people remind you unconsciously. You know, mm. when I got engaged, I got engaged in school. And let me say this. I got engaged in school. The first thing I did was to take my my um, my would-be wife to my fellowship. I took her to my um, FTC where wow. I was the vice president. I took her there. I said, this is the person I want to marry. Wow. Definition. Definition mm. of Definition. the outfit. Such me. that you are shielded from certain things. So if I said to you, I love you, you say to me, uh uh, uh Kevin Cock. <laughs> Even if I want to stay. Wow. Even if I want to stay. <laughs> and I said to you, I love you, you will say, uh uh. You are welcome. And I say, okay, ah, sorry. <laughs> I, I was just joking. I was just joking. Was ah. just joking. Wow, thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, sir. So, 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 sir, now, when you have defined your identity as a Christian engaging in the media sphere, now we're streamlining you to the media sphere. When you have defined yes. your identity, how then do you handle finance? Because we know that when you define your identity and it places you in a, in, in a, in a form of a strata, you, you can receive every kind of job opportunity again. Can you trust God to still supply your need while you are trying to be faithful? Or sometimes should you compromise here and there? Or balance it with being diplomatic? What, how do you balance your finance as a Christian in the media that is trying to make a headway and not compromise? Okay, let me start, let me start with something my wife um berates me about okay she, she at, at the beginning she fights me for doing this when i charge it doesn't matter who you are when i charge okay if pastor Larry comes to me we want to have a wedding we want to have our wedding you know, we don't have money this is what i can offer you i say okay ah this money is small but guess what i will do the best and deliver the best wow it doesn't matter if my money is involved Mm. I will do the best and, you know, give you the best. Mm. Because I know that when I give you the best, somebody will come to me and say, I like this thing. That has mm. more money than you have. That's the power of the power. Yes. Wow. So, you know, somewhere, somehow, like I said earlier, it is God that blesses. And you shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he that gives you power to get wealth. So wealth is not a point. I was I was coming back from taking my son to school, and God began to talk to me. He said, "Ozu will not give you rest. Mm. Ozu will not give you rest. He can give you money. Every time, Ozu will not give you rest. Mm. Ozu can give you money. That's the same way. That's the way God spoke it to me. He said, "Ozu can give you money, but he can never mm. give you rest. Can never can give never. you rest. Power. So it says to me, God said to me." Stay in me. Depend on me. Don't wow. us you. I have created you to work, but not to us you. Depend wow. on me. So, my finance is strictly, you know, when I got married, God began to pay me salary. Wow. I'm, I'm serious. Till wow. today, God pays me salary. God pays me salary. I don't collect any dime from the church. I don't. From the church, no. But God has raised somebody to always pay me salary. Wow. Not for doing church work, but mm. for me personally. personally. Mm. This so is I have two I have two cars to the glory of God. Mm. One Sienna, one under, not one Nera. 
of my money was in those purchases. Wow. God, so, so finance, one of the things I did early in life was to also define what I charge. So mm. even if you are paying me 70000 I would send you my charge okay. and say to you, this is my charge. Okay. But I'm doing it for you for that amount. So if somebody is talking to you and say, ah, I like this photographer, I want him to come and work for you, you will say to that, but this is how much he charges you. Mm. You know, and if I also look at you and I feel that, oh, the stress of doing that work for you is much, I can mm. say to you, okay, I'm doubling this, is how much I'm collecting. And okay. guess what? I use, I have never given anybody below standard results. I've wow. never delivered to, I've never, never. There was a woman I did a work for in VGC. She wasn't happy at first because, um, Somebody confused that, you know, that, you know, this and that, this color does not match, why is messy, this person and all that and all that. You know, I didn't talk too much. So I kept on telling her that, I, I'm sorry, I apologize a lot. That's one of the things I do. My, mm -hmm. my clients know me. I never argue with any clients. Wow. So I said, I'm sorry, man. When yeah. I delivered the job eventually, sent the job to um, um, Federal Express, FedEx. Okay. You know, she saw the job and couldn't hold back admiration. She couldn't hold it back. She was just saying, how do you do this? I did a job for another company. You know, the money they gave me was so small, but like I said, I don't do below standard. Mm. I never. I took five of my boys to shoot. All of them were paid. They were paid heavily. Mm. And they paid me something little. The little I have, I use it to do a quality job. The man looked at me and said, who are you? The man mm -hmm. knew me. He was also a graduate of Exu. He said, wow. Pastor, you are, you are packaging in your village. <laughs> wow. You know? What? So, finance for me, I know that it is not this one that is giving me money. Mm -hmm. God. So, mm -hmm. even if you give me 100,000, God multiplies 100,000. God blesses that hundred thousand. I'll wow. use it for something good, and I'll use it for something blessed. Wow. I am blessed. Wow. Wow. This is awesome. This is awesome. I'm blessed. Thank, thank you. You are blessed. I know. <laughs> you are blessed. Thank you very much. A third question, very quickly, sir. How strong is the tension? I can't, I, I can't hear you. I, I didn't hear the question. Okay, sir. How strong is the temptation of lust in, in the media with respect to photography, cinematography, or uh, movie making? And how strong is the temptation of lust? Is it actually the same everywhere or because you deal with, all right, sites, fashion, and things like that, it tends to be stronger? How strong is it and how do you handle lust with respect to the media, engaging the media. How do you handle the issue of lust? The media world, the, um, thank you, sir. The media world is driven by, is driven by fashion, like you said, but mm. we don't have the women. Sorry, I guess it's, it's his network. Can you hear me, sir? Hello, can you hear me? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear Am you I now, back? sir. I can hear you. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. So, so if you look at the adverts, 98% of adverts are, are, are sexual and sensual. True. Mm. So I went to shoot a wedding one day, and you know that with the bride you have other ladies there. Yes, Beautiful yes. Lady train. I, I have trained, and I, I photographers are permitted into their rooms. You know, 
I'm the only one that is permitted as a guy. You know, and I, they wanted to change. And I, I said, let me go out. And one of them said, no, uh-uh. Why are you going out? And let me shock you. Wow. 60% of them changed right in where I was there. My they goodness. told me not to go out. And they were changing right in my presence. Wow. I was shocked. <laughs> I was stunned. But I learned something. Mm. Nakedness was not moving. There's no excuse for rubbish. There's mm. no excuse. So the lust is there. My elder brother went to shoot. A, my elder brother is a cinematographer. He went to Portacourt to shoot. And he told me that right there, a lot of seductress, a lot of ladies came to seduce him and to do. In fact, when he did not, when he did not yield to them, they came at night in his dream. I'm serious. I'm serious. They came to try him at night also, and he started praying the Holy Ghost. The, wow. the, the media world is ruled by that spirit of lust. There's a lot of free, if you are not disciplined, if you are not trained, there's a lot of free sex. Free, free, free all manners of things in the media world. It is their world. For example, you look at the movie industry, it is driven by sex and sexuality. Mm. If you are not beautiful, you may not get roles. If mm. you are not ready to lay down, you, can, you may not get roles. Mm. And so the Christian must define who is sponsoring him or her from the outset. If it is God that is sponsoring me into the media world, then I was yields to my sponsor. Mm, you understand? So yes, let, me, let me also say this. I was, I was, I was contracted to shoot um, um, for Nigerian International Film Summit. They were having okay. a summit, Nigerian International Film Summit. You know? Mm -hmm. And you find out that a lot, of, a lot of stars, a lot of stars came and all that and all that. But guess what? I was not moved by you being a celebrity. Mm. Being a celebrity does not move me. The only person wow. that moved me that I went to take pictures with is my Babylonian. Okay. Because that is the person in my faith. Mm. That is the person that also understands the power of staying true with God in the media. Mm. You know, so the media world is ruled by all manners of lust, sexuality, and sensuality. If they are not mm. doing it, then at times you are limited, but if you are sponsored by God, that's why you hardly find a marriage that is working in the media world. Mm. You hardly find a marriage that is working. The people who have good marriage is working for them are Christians. Wow. Are Christians. People who are devoted to their God. Mm. People who know themselves and stay with their God. So it's a, it's a messed up world but God can, God can send you and I, God has sent you and I to, to cleanse it up, to make it a good place for people coming um, behind, for them to have safety. Unfortunately, 60% of us are caught also in the trap. Mm. Thank you very much, sir. 60% of us are also caught in the trap, sir. Wow, this is true. This is true. I remember years back when I used to be a Yahoo boy, pastor. I would go to yeah. <laughs> CF Net. They, they, we used to have cafes then in uh, Idris Aga Obawale. And so we we'll book nights for months. Okay. One, some of those nights I would, when I, you know, we call them clients then. The local ones call them Maye, but we call them clients. We will tell the client or Maga, as some say. Sometimes women as old as my mother we will tell her to go naked online. And just open everything wow. black planet, planet, the and all those sites. They'll go naked and then we'll be watching and be laughing. I didn't know that these were seeds of pornography and masturbation that I was sowing into my life. It became a battle. So I found oh, out. Sir, please, sir. Please hold, your, hold your thoughts, sir. You, you continue. Yes, please. One of, one of the things God did for me. Um, like my, like uh, my senior pastor said today, there's nothing called love. You know, mm. 
a divine orchestration. One of the things God did for me, and I want to say I was lucky, but I know, I know that this divine orchestration is mm. the fact that I was not exposed early to nakedness. Mm. You were not exposed early to nakedness. I was never exposed early to nakedness. So, even till date, I'm not a fan of Wow. wow. So, so continue, sir. So those things we see have a way of weakening our moral fabric in our soul. We, 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 yes, it, it, it makes us weaker. So something that you would naturally shun now, you, you become weak to fight it. And even though for the grace and the mercy of God, most people who enter into pornographic addictions till their late years, they still battle it unless there is grace and discipline. I had to remove an application from my phone. I can't remember this. There's an application that I downloaded. One video application like this. It's always, it's only bomb bomb they are showing there. Ladies dancing, breasts. I said, ah, how, how is video editing and this one? How do they tally? So I have one more question for tonight. Then we'll continue by God's grace tomorrow. My question for tonight is, how should believers respond to trends and challenges on social media? Owing to the fact that, for example, you know, what we do, these things are prophetic things. I didn't know that mommy geo issue was, was going to come up and some of these things that have become quite viral in a day and time. I found out that virality is not the same as healthy content. Once it is viral, our generation interprets it for something that is correct. And so truth sometimes looks very slow, but we know that it is very potent. We saw, you know, in a few days, I mean, everybody, Mommy Gio said this, both the things that she might have said in some videos and things that she didn't say. And but you notice that a lot of church folks began to push it on their status everywhere, catching crews with it. The same thing with challenges. They can say bomb bomb challenge, shaking challenge, crying challenge. Great challenge, whipping challenge, all kinds of things. Now, I understand there are some things you just do for fun, but because we have an identity, because there is an eternity, because there is a nature of God and Christ that is in us, how do we respond to trends and challenges on social media such that Christ is still glorified, we are edified, those that follow are edified, we have fun, but we don't cross the line. How do we respond to trends and challenges on social media? That will be my last question. And if you have a question, please you can type so we'll pick it up from there tomorrow. Yes, sir. Okay. okay. Um, Pastor, you know, the problem has always been the problem of identity. Like we have said over and over in this broadcast, it is mm. identity crisis. And the, the biggest challenge is that we have so many churches, we have so many so-called Christians, but mm. we have you know, I, I'm not sure they are really Christians. Wow. Because, you know, let, let me tell you how I started. I, I started um, this daily devotional broadcast as far back as 2012. Wow. Yeah. Every day I was writing, every day. Let me tell you how I started. How did I start? I started because there's somebody sent me a message saying, I am Guinea Kong, Guinea Kong. I am the owner of WhatsApp. Send this message to 14 people. If you don't send it to 14 people, then we will close down your, your WhatsApp. Your WhatsApp will not talk to you. When I saw that, I felt like, okay, Shabi, you want me to send something to 14 people? Abi, so that you would know that I, I am using your WhatsApp. So this is what I did. I two scriptures, I typed scriptures and added words under it and I sent to 30 people. Wow. <laughs> so, I said, paraventure, that one is not enough. The following day, I would also take scripture, write some things under it, and that's how the discussion has started. Wow. You know, so, people are, people, many people are unwise. Mm. Not because they are really foolish, but because they lack, I, they lack they, they have, they have um, identity crisis, identity problems. Mm. Why would I do, why would I do a, a silhouette challenge? Mm. Why would I do it? Mm. 
Why will I? Why will I just jump on trend because it is making people laugh? Then it means that I'm not connected with the one that is seated in heaven. Wow. That's what it means. It means that, in the real sense, I don't have anything. Is I am empty. For me to jump on a challenge means that I am empty. I am not creative enough in the spirit. Mm. If I'm creative enough in the spirit, then there are certain things I will be able to turn out without anybody pushing me to do it. Mm. For Wait. example, how did yeah. I start scripture in one minute during that um, COVID lockdown? Well, yes, I, I found it. Doing, yeah, okay, scripture in one minute. How did I do it? I just found out that people wanted to see content, and I just felt like, okay, let's just give out scripture in one minute. In let's it. do that. Let's do a Bible challenge. Mm. There's something inside of us. So we don't have to jump on every trend, every challenge. There's, in fact, many of this mommy geo that you said, yes. I believe I, I, I took time to go to a, um, a YouTube a channel okay. and I wanted to see her and I found out that, okay, she was saying some things. Maybe she wasn't saying them right. But the part of the media is also that people, and we don't know, this is what people don't know. When you want to destroy and when you want to destroy a truth, yes, sir. All you need to do is to keep stretching it mm. and stretching it That's and true. stretching it That's and true. stretching it. It loses balance. It mm. loses. It loses oh. focus. So mm. this is look at what Paul did. That girl was shouting the first day. These are the people of God that God said. This yes. is the man of God that God said. We are dead. Keep quiet. Mm. Now, mm. what Paul, apart from the fact that she is demon possessed, what Paul was guiding against was the fact that people would be drawn to her because she was creating a media frenzy. Mm. People would be drawn to her much more than they are drawn to Paul. Mm. So these are the men of God. So what are they doing? She's looking for likes. She's looking for comments. She's looking mm. for. She, you see, when you when you post something. First mm. off, it must, yes, have, it must have happened to you before. <laughs> when you post something for five hours, you just saw two likes. What happened to you? Then you have to like yourself too and say, Let me, maybe if I like the algorithm. <laughs> but if you post birthday or wedding or happy something, it will, it will move. So the challenge is we also want to trend. True. But what exactly is called, what do we call trend? Trend. Mm. Are you with me, sir? What do we call trend? If mm. of this, um... When I was meditating on, on, you know, looking at this topic that you said, God began to ask me, why do we use media? Mm. Who are we projecting? Are we projecting are we? God? Yes, are we projecting God or are we projecting ourselves? Yes. And so you find out that our pictures are flooded everywhere. Now, let me say this to you. It is a major problem when people define your church with your name rather than with God. Mm. The church will touch will lo la no. Ah, touch it, Pastor Lan. Mm. It's common. It's normal mm. in our days. Ah, I want to Pastor Church. It's Pastor Lan Church. What is the name of Pastor Larry's church? I don't know. It's Pastor Larry's mm. church. So Pastor Larry, somewhere, somehow, becomes the identity, the, the primary identity that people see the about focus. that church, mm. rather than God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are you with me, sir? Yes, sir. True. So in using the media also, we must also be conscious of what we are, we are projecting. What oh, is yeah, that sure. trend that we want? Mm. Is are we just are we just are we just are we just interested in trending or we are interested in projecting God? Oh, Do we want God to trend or we want us to trend? Oh, that's a that's a major challenge. So that's why one of the reasons I would jump at Bobby Gio's um trend is because I want people to also notice me. Yes, yes. so that I can get likes and comments. I can get that likes is... and comments. So when I get likes and comments, people start to notice me and they start to trade with me. Somebody said this and I will, and, and I, and I will just close. Mm. Um, Pastor, sir, 
Yes, sir. Somebody said this. He said, okay. he said on social media, if you want to make it on social media, you must start with anything and everything, anything crazy, do. So that mm. you will get all the lights, then you can start doing that which is okay. um, good. Mm. And I said, no. No. Mm. Let me look at the Let me look at the matter. If you will follow me, follow me. If you won't mm. follow me, don't follow me. Mm. If you check my, in fact, if you notice me, yes, sir. Somebody asked me, how do you get business? Because if you check my WhatsApp, if you check my Facebook, I rarely post my business on my WhatsApp. On my very, true. very true. Very true. Very true. I know that somewhere somehow God will bring somebody to come and to come and give me job. Mm. But my primary assignment in life is not photography. Mm. My primary assignment is God with everything that he has committed to my hands to do. Wow. And so if I must strength, wow. God must strength first. Wow. I must ensure that I want God. So how will God train? By saying somebody will go to hellfire. How will mm. God train? By doing slower challenge. How mm. will God train? By doing a, a great challenge. That's not <laughs> God. That's not God. Mm. That's so the Christian must understand his identity in God and stay with his identity in God. That is wow. how to last. People who trend don't last. Yeah. Trending people don't last. It is they people that has good go fat, they don't last. Mm. Okay, sir. That man that said uh, 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 Iran, Iran, la, Iran, I love you, Iran. You know, oh, Iran ahead. People wanted him to become that trending. You know, they trended it. They made the video viral. Where is the Where is the Lord Lord today? Mm. How many people are saying Lord Lord today? Mm. Anything that trends will What's always that? have a time. It cannot mm. last. So, Pastor, we, we, so, we can so, say that trending people don't last but rooted people last if from you <laughs> trendy people don't last but rooted people last and what we this, want to build is that we want to or today yes sir yes sir this must be put as a quote trending people trendy don't last rooted people last mm, trendy people don't last rooted people last um, in my book here, Equip, you know my book. I know that um, you are one of those who uh, has a copy. Um, there is, I, I was writing on, there's a chapter I titled The Living the Faith in a Changing World. How that we are walking the talk, we are posting the talk, we are becoming Christ-like, and also using our social media platforms to preach the message of the gospel. Now, I, I cited an author called Leonard Sweet. He's the author of Viral Revival. And this is what, this is what um, he said. Jesus is the message more than manuscript. He is the story more than instruction manual. He is yeah. a personal letter, not the envelope it comes in. He is yeah. a launcher pad, not a storage locker. He yeah. is self-defining, not an entry in a Bible dictionary. He is yeah. mystery, not equation. He is the yes, transcendent made immanent. He is miracle more than logic and reason. And then he yes, is sir. personal experience and direct reality, not a syllabus or a lesson plan. Not a syllabus. So what people think Jesus is, is just some nice guy that is chasing after them and yes. crying out. is not in competition with Olamide. Jesus is not in competition with whiskey. Jesus, those who understand what he came to do and then by their lives and their actions are pushing out that message. That's what it's about. Yes, sir. You want to wrap up, sir? One of, one of
termed as a secular singer, but you know, is close to the gospel. Um, Kobams. Kobams, okay. He sang a song, and for me, that song. I'm, I'm just asking. I'm just saying that along what happened to this guy. I heard it last year. Said, Was it last year or two years ago? Maybe two years ago. He said, "Give me one hit song like Olabude. Give me one hit song like." I said, "What is what is wrong with this guy? Mm. God will not give me a hit song. God mm. will not give." The video is not your inspiration. So wow. somebody, somebody sang the song. He said, you know, a, 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 a minister came to my house yesterday and he said, he said to me, his name is Peter Pebo. He said to me, he said, Pastor, have you heard this song? I said, we song. He said, Peru, para, Peru. He said, the presence of, if you ask me who I am, I'm in the presence of my father. And I'm like, I said, who does this? Who does this? We think that we think that we can get inspiration from the world and bring it. In fact, that's the sad part of Christianity today. The mm. fact that we think that NBA is relevant on our pulpit. We have turned our pulpit to a lecture center rather mm. than a revelation center. Wow. We have turned our pulpit to an information disseminating center rather than life transforming um, center. And wow. so, uh, 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 my wife is here to say we have to go. We are happy to We are happy to So, you know, we have turned our, our churches to let us do it like the world, to bring in the people of the world so that we can now disciple them. It's a lie. What you started with, you will continue. Powerful. What you started with. you started with. with you will, if you don't continue, they will leave you. And you don't want them to leave you because your God, your belly is your God. It says, mm. whose God is their belly? So yes. the one that called them to, to the ministry is their belly. Is mm. the applause of the people. So that thing that they used to lure them, they will also used to keep them. Thank you very much, sir. By the grace of God, guys, thank you all for following. We'll continue tomorrow. Saul compromised because the people were living in and he committed an abomination. Don't because of likes, love, uh, comments, share, broadcast, and all that, forget your identity. Remember you have a message from the king, and the message is greater than you, the messenger. Let your life and your social media platforms become a tool for propagating the gospel of Jesus Christ, and you will see the, the, the power of God backing you, and lives changing truly through your obedience. God bless you. Thank you everyone for joining this tonight. Scripture, this, scripture, this scripture must become part and parcel of us. It says, let your conversation become as it becomes the of gospel. the gospel. Philippians 127. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Thank your you. Conversation was everywhere, social media must represent Christ. Thank you very much. Peace be with you all. Thank you all for joining tonight. By the grace of God, we wrap up on this topic tomorrow. God bless you and have a good night rest. Bye. Pastor, thank you, sir. Bye-bye, everyone. Thank you, everyone, for joining and God bless you.